Okay, so this is a cooking simulator, as some of you might know. And I figured I would just start a little series where I make recipes in very unconventional ways throughout this game. So I figured, as a good first one, tomato soup would be pretty nice and easy. As easy as something can be in a kitchen, I suppose, so. Just gotta get the pot first. And the recipe here says use chicken broth, but I prefer to use dark beer if possible, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get figured out how to get it. Okay, I'm gonna need a bucket. So, 700 milliliters of dark beer to start. Hmm. Okay. So I'm just gonna... Okay. I'm kinda... Get it under there. And just keep filling it up until you're at about 700 milliliters. You can be off by a little bit, but... So, like, there. Got about 741 that I will now need to attempt to pour into the pot. Okay. Gonna have to find something else. Get that out of here. So I could use maybe a deep plate or a bowl. Oh, hold on. Here's something. Deep plate, a bowl. There we go. Perfect. Just have to turn that. Bowl under here. Until you're at about 700 milliliters, and then I suppose it's a bowl of holding with a barrel that's deciding to freak out. Oh no. Okay. Now. Okay, so that's 124 of dark beer. So, it's probably good to find something else. Olive oil, balsamic vinegar, wine vinegar, red wine. Beautiful, right there. And you just gotta check the bottle in until you've got all of it. 825 about of wine and dark beer. So now it says salt, but what it really means is that you gotta get that really good cinnamon. You give it a nice powder and you're gonna want to put about 20 grams and just put it in when you're done. And I think it's black pepper next. Yep. And what they mean by that is you've got to use this starch. It'll help everything to stick together and make a good puree. You're only going to want to use about 40 grams of starch. Only that much. Any more and you'll likely end up with ice. And I think, yep, cayenne pepper is actually just vanilla. You're just going to want about two or three grams of vanilla. So now that we've got the spice and the liquid, 
we're going to need to move on to the solids. So it wants eight tomatoes, but what it really means is a cucumber, a parsley root, three stalks of corn, a piece of broccoli, and an eggplant. That will give it a nice taste. So boil for 60 seconds, three minutes, right now. And we'll just leave it there. And you're running, gonna want to grab the sour cream. And what that means is just some ketchup. It'll bring the bitterness and I suppose veggie taste of the whole thing together with that little bit of tomato and onion. Now while that's going, you're gonna wanna grab a pan and just set it on the stove here, turn the heat on. And you're gonna wanna grab some wine vinegar, just a little bit to put in the pan. No more than about 30 milliliters. And there we go. Third one. Okay, so then you're gonna want to find a really nice fish. Trout would do. Just put that on the cutting board, grab a knife. You're gonna want to only cut the head on. See? Perfect. Then, grab the trout head, and you cook it. So yeah, it's just starting to cook. And then, once the timer is done, and it's ringing, you're gonna wanna turn it off, and throw it somewhere, it will never see the light of day again. Oven works. So then, you're going to want to turn the heat off, grab the blender, and, um, you know, just make sure you blend everything up until it's a nice, beautiful orange. Now this is when you're going to want to put the ketchup in. You know, just about 50 milliliters of ketchup. Then, you want to grab a nice deep plate, put as much as you can fit into it, that should be good, and just try to throw it somewhere where the mess will get cleaned up in it. And when it, once the trout is done, you want to remove the pan. Okay, so you're gonna wanna grab the trout head and just set it in the soup. And that is how you make the beautiful tomato soup. I'm a gnome, and you've been gnomed!